I always have to listen to music when I'm working, so having a nice speaker is incredibly important to any studio that I'm in. This speaker is amazing. And look how compact it is, I can put it in my pocket. <laughs> I think go to the beach with it. Would you like one that sounded like that that you could fit in your pocket? Um, yeah, it'd be amazing. Because pockets. Wesley Kandinsky said that his paintings were to be read like pieces of music. And that's, I suppose, something that I thought of when you guys asked me to paint the wall, was that I should make something that is uh, a, a musical painting. All of these little symbols and signs and semiotics and hieroglyphics, hypoglyphics, uh, they are all meshing, mashing, gelling together to create a landscape, to play with the idea, the notion of a landscape, the horizon and a, a, a closed system which I suppose could lend itself to the world. There's things that we recognise like plants and like birds and clouds and these things that kind of uh, we're all familiar with and then there's other things that are less obvious like atomic um, quantities and patterns and maybe diagrams of energy flow um, buzz buzz noise visual noise uh, and then there's other symbols like the Bluetooth symbol which is interesting because it is named after King Bluetooth he, had, he didn't have blue tea, but he was called Bling, Bling to Blue. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, all the little lines and stuff, they're all linked up to these little units, which are loosely based on the new audio device.